Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to Skyrim and another unique spell. And it's one that I've really never bothered with before, but it's actually quite good. And it's called the Flaming Familiar. And it is essentially your very own personal guided missile. And we get this spell by completing a side quest called A Scroll for Ansgar. And this is done by travelling to Highgate Ruins, which is an ancient Nordic tomb located in the Pale, directly west of Dawnstar, east of Solitude, north of Usengrav, and east of the Wreck of the Ice Runner. And it's very near to Winstad Manor. And it is also the final resting place of the Dragon Priest Vokun. And when you enter the ruins, you will find Anska. She says that she's been searching for the tomb of Dragon Priest Vokun for years and believes that the scroll which links her bloodline back to Isgrimor himself is in the ruins. And she will ask you to retrieve her the scroll. After accepting the quest, she will follow you. She is quite handy to have around and mainly uses spells. The ruin is reasonably large, mostly inhabited by level Draugr, and there's a decent boss fight with a Vokun at the end. Just a quick tip, Anska isn't essential, and if she's killed, the quest fails. So it may be an idea to not accept the quest right away, go through the tomb and kill everyone first, and as soon as you kill the Vokun, she will appear. Oh, as an aside, you also come across obviously a Dragon Priest mask, and a word wall giving you the storm call shout. Now it's not a shout that I've ever used before, but it's there if you want it. Anyway, then just pick up the scroll off the table to uh, start the quest, if you've gone before her that is, uh, and just simply hand her the scroll to complete the quest. Anyway, once she has taken the scroll, she will gift you the unique spell Conjure Flaming Familiar. So let's take a look at this little beauty. It's an apprentice level conjuration spell that summons a fiery wolf which will rush towards your enemies and explode. Um, the familiar lasts for six seconds and all the info says it gives fire damage of 50 points in a 15 foot radius for three seconds. I'm not really sure about that 50 points though. Um, it has a really short charge time and a very low magic cost of 57 so you can definitely spam this attack. It's probably comparable to a fireball without the perks. Now, if you summon it at a distance away from you and no hostile target exists, it will run back to you and explode, so be careful with that. But in my experience, when it comes back, it usually stays at a safe distance. However, just be aware, as despite what some people say, you and your followers can be damaged by the explosion. And a really neat little thing with this spell is that the explosions caused by it do not generate aggravation meaning non-hostile NPCs hit by it stay non-hostile and do not attack you. So this is a perfect way to assassinate targets in plain view. Also, the Flaming Familiar summon distance is about three times the distance of other summons at 100 feet, and this is multiplied by putting points in the summoner perk, increasing the range to 200 foot at the uh, first rank and a massive 300 foot at the second rank, enabling you to bombard enemies from far, far away. And it can work really well with spiders as you can potentially summon two familiars and six spiders at one time and just keep throwing more at them, your enemies, when each one explodes. 
Um, and another positive for this spell is it is resistant to turning from hostile mages or dragon spells, making an excellent spell when dealing with that kind of enemy. So, all in all, this is a fun spell, and used in the right way is a really useful spell to have in your locker. And I have to say, definitely worth getting. I definitely recommend getting this. It's a, it's a lot of fun and very useful. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the vid, and I'll catch you later. Love you.